Good morning, scholars. Today is Wednesday. It is April 29th. I think. I think so. You can let me know if I'm wrong. It's hard to keep track of the days lately. <laughs> um, let's see. The weather for today looks kind of cloudy, sort of a big stratus cloud out there. Um, a little bit rainy like yesterday. Stratus. Big gray blanket. So yesterday was kind of a low key, kind of a little bit of a gloomy day yesterday. Um, but I did check the weather today. It's going to be a high of 62 and it is supposed to get sunny. So yay, that'll be nice. That always makes me feel happier. The sunshine and getting outside and getting some fresh air. Yesterday I didn't, um, I got to be outside a little bit, but I, I don't think I got as much fresh air as I needed. So I'm going to make sure to get out and get some fresh air. Let's see. Uh, yesterday's check-in question had to do with science about wedges. And the question was, which of these things is not a wedge? And we did very well in our check-in question. Most of us knew that a blanket is not a wedge. No, not a very good wedge. Um, so good work there. Um, oh, I was just watching Miss Tuzanov's video and she said that today is National Zipper Day, which is pretty random, right? Kind of random, National Zipper Day. I've got buttons on my vest. Um, but I was thinking like, oh, zippers are a type of wedge. So when you zip something up, like the little teeth come together, and the teeth are shaped like wedges. And then also the zipper part when it comes up and down is a type of a wedge. So it's a simple machine. Cool. So happy zipper slash wedge day. All right. And then tomorrow we'll have some optional kind of little activities for you to try at home that have to do with wedges. So maybe you can have some wedges while you're eating today. I know I um, made some quiche the other day and I had a wedge of quiche. Wedge, put in my mouth. Uh, let's see. Um, today's check in question has to do with history. And Miss Lund made us another one of her fabulous videos. Today's history lesson, optional, this is optional, is about Kublai Khan and the Mongols. And they tried to attack. Japan several times, but something was stopping them. Something um, stopped them so that they were not able to do that. So question is, what stopped them? All right. So I know if we were in class and we were talking about Japan and Lucy would tap her head and be like, I know about Japan and Lucy. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, and if you didn't have a chance to on Monday, there is <clears throat> a fabulous video about Marco Polo from Miss Lund, and that's on Monday. Um, so that was Monday, today's Wednesday. Um, oh, and then tomorrow we'll have our optional Zoom class meeting. Yay! I get to see all of you. Hopefully, most of you, some of you haven't seen. I'm sad. I hope you're able to make it, but if you're not, that's okay too. I know there's a lot going on right now. So that is totally okay if you are not able to make it. Um, if you do want to come, I'd love to see you tomorrow, uh, one o'clock. And um, I might be back at school. I might have to go back to school for the for the better internet. Um, but, oh, thank you for those of you who have sent me three clues about yourself, three little facts or clues. We're gonna try to play like a little guess who game. I'm gonna read the clues and we'll try to guess who are we talking about. Um, if you haven't done that and you would like to participate, please send those to me today or tomorrow morning. That would be fabulous. So three clues. And again, it could be like, uh, my favorite food is this. And this is an activity I like to do outside. You know, I like to play basketball or I like to play, um, I like to ride my bike. Or it could be, I just read this really good book called blah, blah, blah. Or it could be like last weekend I had two ice cream cones. It can be random facts or it can be facts that are just more about you. Like what, what pet do you have or 
if you have any brothers or sisters or um gosh could be all kinds of stuff about you so three clues about you and uh, we'll try that at our zoom meeting another fun idea that um some of the teachers shared and miss tuzana shared about um doing some fun things for our zoom meeting um someone tried uh baby pictures and parents sent in or emailed some baby pictures and we tried to guess who they were so maybe for a little bit later even a few weeks we'll try that thought that might be fun so we could try that like see your little baby pictures and guess who that was that'd be fun okay so hope to see you at our zoom meeting tomorrow so this is tomorrow um and then on friday there is no school so no online learning on friday or on monday so this would be a good chance for you on friday and monday just to kind of um maybe catch up on some work you've you've um you know gotten behind on or you could practice some math facts you could just do some free reading on your own um you could do some activities some little craft activities or things like that um, i did want to show you a little activity that i saw and I asked my family if we could do so. We did this yesterday because it was kind of a rainy day. And what we did is we each traced our hands and then we um, cut, cut them out and then we put them on different, oh, we put them on different colored paper. And it's sort of to represent like, oh, we're all kind of um, apart at this time, well, except for our families, too much time with them. But um, kind of a neat thing to be like, oh, this is us all together. And so this is my family. This is my, my husband's hand is in the back, Phil. And then my hand is the yellow one. And Sophia's is blue. And then Hendrick's is red. And so I'm going like, to put this on some paper maybe and um, hang up or something. That was kind of cute. And it's cute if you take off their little hands, right? You know? cute little hands. So anyway, I thought that was kind of a fun activity you might want to do with your family to be like, oh, remember this? Remember when we were all like stuck at home for the quarantine and the keeping everybody safe, but it is kind of a hard time. But it's also a time for us to remember, look at all this togetherness that we've had. Lots of togetherness. <laughs> um, so anyway, a uh, little activity. Let's see. Oh, our secret scholar for today. Ryu. Hi, Ryu. We miss you. I really like seeing all your little cute faces here in these pictures. Okay, Ryu, we miss you. Hope you're doing well. Yay, Ryu. All right. So we were thinking about Ryu today, and I know Ryu is using, using lots of virtue and lots of justice and fortitude at this time. Um, yeah, especially, especially really using our justice with um, the people who are near us. Again, I mentioned that we're spending a lot of time with the people who are in our, in our little house and our apartment and wherever we are, and it can be hard to keep being kind and just to our family members so let's try to keep using our justice i know i had a couple little difficulties with uh my son yesterday he had a hard time being patient and kind and so i think maybe i need to apologize today and start over i think that's what i'm going to do so let's try to use our justice and um, show generosity and kindness to each other today and, uh, oh, I know something that I keep forgetting. These are spelling words. Have you noticed? I've forgotten to talk about them. <laughs> um, so our spelling words for today are right here, 4, 4, 14, 44. Um, something interesting about this is that all of these words that have like the base, the base word of four, you know, like four, the number four, and then like the fourth person in line. Let's see, who's fourth in our classroom? I think it's Vera. I think Vera's fourth. Uh, 14. But then when we get to this number, 40, the number after 39, there's no U in it. What a weird number. 
English is a weird, English is a strange language, isn't it? And then this kind of four is, I have a gift for you. We have something for you. Okay, and then yesterday's words, those were the fun, the fun ones about treasure, measure, and pleasure. Um, so I like those words, pleasure, measure, treasure, already. So uh, let's see, did Miss Jennifer get anything else? Will you let me know? I know Madeline noticed that I had a mistake in my video. And then I said, Madeline, what was my mistake? You caught me. But then she didn't tell me. So Madeline, you got to tell me today, what was my mistake? I do make them from time to time. Alrighty, so today's going to be a beautiful day, uh, a little bit later in the afternoon. So maybe we could, we could like get our work done, do some hard work in the morning, and then enjoy the afternoon because it's going to be really nice. All right. Today and every day, learn something new. Try your best. Be kind to one another. Let's make today the best day yet. It's a great day to be a knight. Have a fabulous day, students. And I am really looking forward to seeing a lot of you. Hopefully all of you, but I know we can't all make it. But um, looking forward to seeing you tomorrow at our little Zoom meeting. Have a great day. Bye.